Hello everyone, I am Tito Miner and I want to make a puzzle game in Unity. It's my first video and tutorial, so let's start. No problem. My English isn't very good, but it's good enough. We want to make a puzzle game, so we need a puzzle pattern like this one. I found it in the internet. Look. And I split four pieces of this puzzle. It's not visible. Look, these four pieces. Uh, so let's uh, let's add these pieces to unity. I here let these are uh, these four pieces are in one sprite. We have to split them. So, uh, set the sprite mode to multiple and apply. Now, is click on sprite editor and slice the sprite. Look, it's good now. Let me change the name. Piece one. Piece two, piece one, and piece zero. Good. Apply. And two, zero, one, two, three. Apply and close this window. Now we should add the pieces to the screen. Uh, like this pattern. Okay. Look, it's. Uh, this puzzle is six one two three four five six in six pieces and thirty six at all so let's add pieces in unit in the, our scene let's start with this one look set the name to piece a space uh, zero in parentheses like this and add a component add a, a sprite mask component and give its a sprite to a sprite mask look now duplicate the this game object here we need this sprite Look, you should change the sprite mask sprite to this one. No, it's good. Now, uh, let me disable this one. Yeah. Okay, it's good. Enable it. Duplicate. We need this one now. And change the sprite mask sprite and we have to rotate this piece let's put it here duplicate this one I disable the sprite mask for now Duplicate. We need six pieces for the top. One, two, three, four. And it's the five, fifth. And another one. Now we have six sprites top. Rotate it. Minus 90. Okay. Now two one two one two. It's okay. For the this way for the right side yeah, this one. This one. Okay. I did wrong. 
and no, it's okay. I'm gonna right hit it. Well, it's down. I put all of the pieces in the screen. Now enable the sprite masks. Enable it. Look, it's good. I need. We need a an image photo for our puzzle. I want to use this one. This image. This photo. Uh, let's drag it into the screen. Set order in layer to one. And here, mm -hmm. set the position and make it bigger. It's good now. Uh, good, but we should give this to the all of the pieces. We should give one of these images to every pieces. Like now, piece number zero have this image. Mm -hmm. But we should duplicate it and give it to other. Pieces. Every piece have should should uh, have this this image this sprite. Mm -hmm. Duplicate it and give it and set the image name to puzzle. We don't need these numbers. Pieces should have the numbers, but puzzles doesn't need numbers. Puzzle. Mm -hmm. Now duplicate for the others, other pieces. Mm -hmm. Oops, okay, duplicate. Mm, select them and change name to puzzle. Puzzle. And do that for the others. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 3, and 35. And choose them again. And set the name to puzzle. Your name to puzzle. Okay, now, uh, now select the puzzles. You can use the search option, write puzzle in the search bar, 
and select the uh, all of the puzzles. Look, is select puzzles. Look, and in the sprite renderer, set the mask interaction to visible inside mask. So good, and now select the pieces. Piece, yes, all of the pieces. Look. And now add another component, add uh, rendering, add sorting group. Now we made the, our puzzle. Look, we can change the pieces like a puzzle. It's completed now, and we should start the scripting. Now let's make a folder, a script, and make a C sharp script for a drag and drop system. Drag and drop underline. Okay, open it here. Remove these lines. One and this one. In the update void, write a condition. If input that get mouse button down mm, zero. What does it mean? If left mouse button clicked, do this. Do what? We want to make raycast. I want to use raycast system to detect clicking position uh, so raycast hit 2d uh, raycast hit 2d equal uh, raycast hit 2d hit name is hit equals physics 2d dot raycast and the origin is camera dot main was camera that main is the main camera it find the main camera automatically camera dot main dot uh, screen point a screen to word point what does it do it convert a screen position to a word position let me uh, we want to convert the mouse position to the, to the word position so input that mouse position and it convert the mouse position to uh, uh, position to the uh, word so it uh, rake has needs another parameter is direction use vector to vector to dot zero okay and make another condition if we want to check the tag check the tag of what the raycast a raycast hits it so it if hit dot transform dot compare tag uh, compare tag uh, compare the object raycast that raycast a raycast uh, hit to that compare that tag to what we want okay let's make a tag create a tag and click on one of the game objects and in the tag here click on add tag add and name it to puzzle or piece don't do difference uh, choose the pieces and give puzzle tag to them here compare tag 
and write puzzle as a string in double conditions. If array cast hitted an object with puzzle tag, uh, or, uh, let's make a variable public game object select Ted piece is what is that piece is the piece that selected if uh, we click it on a puzzle a piece uh, set selected piece to hit that transform that game object let's and yes uh, Control S to save the script. Give this script to the main camera here. Now let's start. Click on the pieces. Oops. Uh, it the selected piece didn't change because our pieces doesn't have a collider we have to give a collider to the pieces so choose pieces again and add another component add a physics 2d uh, box collider 2d now let's check it again uh, select main camera so here piece 0 look selected piece is changing when I click it's 1, 3, 29, 17 so now we want to move the pieces uh, here write another condition if uh, selected piece wasn't null if it wasn't null uh, set selected piece dot transform that position to the most position to use main camera dot screen word to point main camera dot main dot screen word to point screen to word point and input dot mouse position Control S. Now let's test uh, what's happened. A oh, look. It's where why we can't see this in camera. Let me check something. Which part? Which piece selected? Piece number eight. This one. Look. Look. The Z, the Z position that Z is equal minus ten. It should be zero. So let's copy this one. Cut mm, camera that main here. Make a vector three that mouse point equals paste equals camera that main screen word to point screen to word point input that mouse position it's equal new vector 3 mouse point dot x comma mouse point dot y and 0 not mouse point that z mouse point that z is minus 10 then we can't see it, this sprite. Now we can. Let's check. Look, we can use mm -hmm. uh, but we can't drop it. So we can just drag it. So let's write if input that get mouse button up if related 
release it, the left button, zero. Uh, set selected piece to null. Let's ch check our script. Look, we can drag and drop the pieces. Uh, it's good and it's working good. We can set it again. Is that here and here, here? So we will. We have to make another script for the position. Look. Well, it's enough for this episode. In the next episode, we will complete our game. Goodbye.